Hi guys, it's Rogue here and welcome to Tech Deals. I have some more chairs for you and you're probably thinking, no more chairs. Be patient. These three chairs are the last in the 12 that I've built. Yes, 12. You've heard that number quite a lot lately. I'm sorry, I have. I've built all of these chairs and I have to say I'm really glad I have. Today we're actually going to be taking a look at these three chairs. We've got AK Racing, we've got the SX, we've got the Max, and then we've also got the Muzo over here. It's going to be a little bit of an interesting video because we're actually going to be looking at quality today. This is a topic that's come up quite a lot. Oh, gaming racing chairs, they're just expensive crap. Well, Today, we're actually going to take a look at that exact topic right there. But before we check out all these chairs, be sure to check the video description below. I'll put the links for each of these chairs in there for you so that you can compare them and find the best price for you. So this one here is the AK Racing SX and I've actually got some, they've actually got a nice little pamphlet here. I'm going to go grab that for you and we're going to take a look through it. So here's the pamphlet that they actually hand out. This is AK Racing and they have a lot of chairs and this pamphlet is just the core and the Master Series. The fact that we've got an SX model, which is part of their core line, and a Max, we're going to take a look and see what makes these different. Now, what's really interesting with AK Racing, and I'm going to get this out straight up, is that they have a factory where they actually make these. They design them, they tool everything, they make the whole chair in their factory. They design it and make it and send it out. So, quality on these is very high because they've got a hand in every single piece they make to get a quality product at the end. So I, I really like that. Now, when you're looking at price, this one on their website comes in at around $399. This one comes in at around $500. And this one here, Amuzo, which is something completely different, is around the $229. Now, you're probably sitting there, I hope you just didn't spit your coffee all over the place. The good news is, on Amazon, this was around $269 back in November. This one was just over $300. You've got some flexibility in price if you're patient and willing to wait for a deal. Now, as far as build goes, these were very easy to build. The arms came pre-attached to the seat and like the E-Win chairs, you attach the back and the seat and the mechanism and voila, you have a seat. So very easy to build. Everything lines up, it's quality. Very, very nice. This one was easy to build as well, although I did have to attach the arms and one of the arms was actually loose and broken and I contacted them and they sent out a new piece straight away. So it was very easy and I'll show you that wobbly piece here. But overall, it went together very easy. I think the easiest thing to do is start from the base and work your way up. So this one has the chrome. This one has the black shiny base and this one has the powder coated aluminium base. Take your pick of what you'd like in your chair. Now let's look at weight capacity. This is weighted at 330, this is weighted at 400 pounds and then this is weighted at 450 pounds. Now you're probably wondering why I have this Muzo chair here when I've got the two AK Racing chairs here. And remember we talked about that price thing and the quality thing? Well this one comes in at 229 and while it supports 450 pounds, take a look at this and tell me what you think. So it is an actual very comfy chair, but the movement in it is ridiculous. I don't know how this is supposed to support 450 pounds when it wobbles all over the place. Am I nuts? I don't think I am. I mean, look at, look at the, look at the give in this. When you sit on this chair and that chair, the E-Win chairs, the Autofill chairs, the Corsair and even the Cooler Master chair, they don't do this. If it's going to support for up to 450 pounds on this particular chair, I don't know where they're going to fit because I fit in this comfortably. If you're needing something up to 450 pounds, you have a few more cuddly spots that you need to tuck in somewhere and I don't know where it's going to tuck in on this. This has a lot of padding to it 
and it is quite comfortable, but I don't know. It just, the quality is not there. That, that, this is what I'm trying to say. The quality of this is not there for as nice as it looks. And this is part of what you all are talking about when you're looking at gaming chairs, which is why I've got these two here because these two chairs don't do this. So when I do this, I mean, there is no wobble on this at all. It is solid. This is the max chair that supports up to 400 pounds. It is solid. Same with this one. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's not going anywhere. There is no give in these chairs like in that Muzo chair. All right, moving on to height adjustment. So this is high. This is the height adjustment. Although this one here, this has got me a little bamboozled how to actually adjust the height. There is only one mechanism on it. And when I push it, I'm probably going to need a little bit more muscle to do it. <laughs> this one's easy. I mean, you push on the button and down it goes. This particular mechanism is different on this chair. And probably so because it has a higher weight capacity. I don't know, but it'd be nice just to keep the mechanisms the same. If that's one gripe I've got, that's the only gripe, to be honest with you, is the mechanism is much easier on this chair than it is on this chair. Now, when you're looking at the armrests on these, this is their core model, the SX model. It goes up and down, it goes in and out, and it goes forward and back. So it's 3D. This one is actually 4D, and then it goes down and up. It goes backwards and forwards, and it actually twists in and out, and it actually has the mechanism where you can slide it in and out. So this actually has the 4D armrest to it if you want. And the Muzo uh, does the up and down. It does not have any other features apart from up and down, which is fine because when you're trying to move it around, it doesn't do this. And you all know how much I hate that. Now, interestingly enough, Tech and I have actually had these AK Racing chairs for a while now. I'm sorry, AK Racing, but we actually wanted to use them use 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 them so we've actually been using them for quite a while and this chair here i'm going to just turn it i mean tech has been sitting in this every day for uh, a good what six nine months now and i don't know what what do you pop in the comment section what you think i mean this looks just totally fine having sat in it for i mean every day for as long as we've had these now and it, it, it has been a while so they do hold up the quality is there folks and i really like that when we get stuff we use it for you because i want you to have the user experience from our end it's fine to look at specs and it's fine to look at this and that but how does it what happens when you use it that's what we want you to have the experience of what happens when we use it because what happens when we use it is most likely what's going to happen when you use it depending obviously on what you're doing with it but if you're sitting in it like we are doing every single day how does it hold up is it holding up and to be honest with you this is holding up just fine now this chair here for me i've actually been using this at my editing and streaming desk i love this thing it's really comfortable when you're looking at a chair, you have to look at the comfort of the seat. You've got to look at the width, the length. You've got to look at the, the length of the chair in the back, the shoulder width, the arms. I mean, there's so many freaking things on a chair to look at. How do you make a choice? And this is why we're bringing you all these different chairs so that you can look at them and go, Ooh, I like that. I like, Oh, I don't like that. Ooh, I didn't know to think of that. What's really interesting on this little pamphlet here that I have in front of me is that it gives you the foam weight. So the foam weight of this particular seat is 2.2 kilograms and the foam weight of the max is actually 2.8 kilograms. The base on this one is metal. The base on this one is actually aluminum or aluminum. Now what's really interesting is on this pamphlet here, it actually has BMI, body mass index, rather than weight. So the BMI of this one ideally is between 30 and 35 and the BMI of the max is between 42 and 50. For those of you who understand BMI and probably some of you will, but most of you may not, um, that's quite a significant increase uh, capacity of weight to hold. All right, let's talk about colors. On this chart here, it comes in black, blue, red, white, and this purple here. 
So you've got a couple of different choices. And on the SX, on this one, you've got the black, the blue, the red, and it's got green. And the green is actually a, a really pretty green. And it also has purple and white. So you've actually got a few more color choices uh, in this model than you do this model, but this will hold a larger weight capacity. Now let's talk about the lumbar supports. They actually got the thickness correct. I like these. They're not too thick. They're not too thin. Although I have to say, I don't particularly like how this is attached. It just sits over like that. And I don't know, I would much prefer it actually attach in through here. Actually, do you know what I really would prefer is that it was built into the headrest like the Muzo. That is so much nicer than to have this big thing honking thing at the back of your head. AK Racing, if you could actually start building the head pillow into the headrest, that would be so much easier for us as a consumer. So you all are probably thinking the mechanism, the recline rogue, look at the recline. All right, well, let's go look at the recline. Let's recline these back and see what they look like. There you go, folks. There is an angle of the seats reclined. I'm going to change the angle here in a minute, but you can actually see that Muzo goes way further back than the AK Racing does. And actually the SX goes a little further back than the Max, which is interesting. It's actually quite tricky trying to uh, get the angle of this right for you. So you can see the SX here in front of us, the Max in the middle, and then you've got the Muzo really close to the wall. Let's put these chairs through the stability test. I'm going to lay back and we're going to see how stable it feels. Does it feel like it's going to tip over or does it feel like it's actually wanting to grip to the floor? It's gripping to the floor. This chair actually has a lot of rock to it and it does not, I mean, I can go like that and it does not feel like I am going to fall over whatsoever. Now the Max here, this is really interesting. This has a much stiffer rock to it. And again, I can really push and it does not feel like at all that I'm going to tip over. There is actually a lot of rock. Wow, that is really cool. I mean, that this just feels like it sticks to the ground. Now, you're not going anywhere but right here. So that is a good thing. All right, here we go. It has rock to it. Uh, it's not as nice when you come up because you can feel the 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 bunk when you come up, but it does not feel like it it's going anywhere. That is rock solid as well. Good job, Muzo. This seat is the angle of the seat. It's actually quite an angle. So the other one seems to be not as angled. I don't know if I like that or not. If you want more of an angled seat, here it is. Let's take a quick look at this Muzo. I am actually impressed with how much padding they have everywhere. There's thick padding here, there's thick padding here. I absolutely love the headrest. I wish a lot more companies would build in the headrest. This is actually my favorite feature. This is thick, these are thick. I mean, this? is actually like a rippled muscle and there's actually a lot of padding. There's a lot of padding on this thing, which kind of surprises me for the price point of which it's at. To be honest, if the seat was a better quality, I would recommend this chair, especially at the price point, just because of all the padding on it. It is quite comfortable, but with how, I mean, you saw it. That's not a good thing when you're spending that amount of money on a seat. So if they can fix that, then this will be worth it. Now, are these pricey? Yeah, they are, but they're also quality because they have a factory and they build them, they design them, they tool them, they build everything from everything. They build it. They get to quality control and check everything. And to be honest, it feels like it. Now this one here at $400, you can actually pick it up for under $300 if you're patient and you wait for the deal. Same with this one here. It's $500 and you can get it just over $300 if you're willing to be patient and wait for the deal. They do come around. Here's the thing, and I have said this many, many times on our Rogue Tech News live shows, is that if you know the price, the retail price of what it is that you are looking at, you know when it's a deal. I cannot tell you how many people go, is this blah, blah, blah a deal at this price? Well, you already should know that. 
please, please know your prices. Do not ask that question in the live streams. Do not ask that question. Know what your retail price is and then you'll know if it's a deal or not. This is tech deals. We want you to get a deal, but we also want you to get quality. We want you to get comfort. And we also want you to have an awesome end user experience, whether it's chairs, computers, it doesn't matter what it is. We want you to be happy with what you bought. So thank you, AK Racing, for sending us these chairs. Thank you, Muzo, for sending this chair. And thank you to Mini Deals for helping me build these two chairs. I did build this one by myself, but Mini Deals came in and he helped me build these two chairs. There you go, guys. That was interesting. Thanks for hanging out with me while we took a look at these three chairs. And you know what to do. Like this video if you like it. Share it with your friends if you love it. And remember to subscribe using that big red button below. And also click that bell icon because that will actually notify you for when videos come out and please leave your comments in the comment section below do you have an ak racing have you tried the muso what chair are you currently seeing on at the moment are you looking to upgrade and you're still trying to figure out which one there we go well keep watching these because eventually one of these chairs is going to go ding 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 that's the chair i want that's you know that's what we're aiming for here Alrighty, guys thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye for now